and Burnett as well. Uh, but here we go. Okay, seven and a bit laps of the track um, here in the steeplechase. Yeah, I think it's going to be a big ask, but Nipperis is he's young enough to be able to go over and chase the chase the qualifier. Oh, he's clipped the uh, the final water jump and um, saved himself from a big spill there, but he enters the straight. He's got an unassailable lead, um, full of running, extending further and further in the face. Very tired, Nipperis as the clock hits. 8.30, so he's going to miss the big qualifier, but it's a gallant effort um, as he defends his title in 8.30, 8.88, the unofficial winning time. He's absolutely exhausted. Well run. Oh, was James fantastic, Nippers. yeah. And Yusuf Abdi crossing the line there in second place. She's had a baby recently, and uh, she's, she's had a few things going on, so she, she's probably not over-raced. Yeah, Louise definitely likes to do these um, these kind of races. Uh, Emily Brukacek hasn't given up, and I tell you what, it's hard. It's hard if you're uh, leading into the straight. You don't know where anyone else is, and Brukacek can see her. Here she comes, Emily Brukacek, closing in on Eloise Wellings, and she's going past the London Olympian. Oh, fantastic running from Brukacek here. She's going to claim her first national title. Oh, great run! Fantastic. 15, 52, 63. Um, you know, we said that she hadn't lost touch uh, with, a, with a lap to go. She still maintained about a four metre off the pace there from Eloise Willing. Since she's crossed the line, she got a B qualifier. She's off to Glasgow. Uh, that was a fantastic finish. She had a lot of years where she wasn't running, you know, as well as she'd run when she was younger. And Emily just said then she'd had a lot of injuries and she was only thinking about this race for, for many weeks. And uh, to see her come. Big Ollie Worms jumping. excited, Ollie. Brooke Stratton, absolutely massive jump there. Uh, Pat Bergen's filled you in there, but 6.68. We do believe it's an illegal tailwind at this stage, but uh, great jumping from her. It puts her a step closer to going to Glasgow with you guys. Yeah, look at that. Very exciting. Men's javelin, Luke Cairns, front of PB, 78.92. So that puts him right up there as well. Big throw from there, the big Victorian. Um, so there's the field. We've got Madeline puts Sarah Carley. Lane two, Ballantyne in three, Wells in four, Pekin in five, Gooley in six. That's where the action will be. Considine in seven and Klein in eight. Fading a little bit there, Gooley and Pekin in second. So three to go over for Lauren Wells. She sets sail for home. She's got six national titles under her belt. Here comes Lindsay Pekin having a great run in second there. Over the last hurdle, Lauren Wells. She's getting a little bit tired at the end here, but they'll be known denying her seventh national title as Pekin closes late. Fabulous running, 56.77 there for um, Lauren Wells. It's her fastest time this, this year, and she's been, she's been battling uh, illness of late, so she'll be absolutely wrapped um, with this, that time. Sorry, her second fastest of the season. Um, fading a little bit towards the end there, and Lindsay Pekin, a great run, and look at that, Pekin, 57.11. She's got that big qualifier, and uh, in fact goes ahead of Gooley. Um, on the year's list, so um, Lindsay Pekin uh, across the line with a big qualifier. She's put herself in contention for Commonwealth Games selection there. Thomas into the straight, two to get over, has got about a two middle lead. He's got a great finish, Thomas, but here comes Dewhurst up on his shoulder. So it's Dewhurst from Thomas over the last neck and leck. Dewhurst, the Sydney University streaking away and he's going to take this out. 49.52, a massive personal best there for Dewhurst to take the national title from Tristan Thomas. 49.52. Let's wait for the official winning time. And we've got one of the big chuckers of Australian athletics, Damien Birkenhead from Victoria, and he's taken out the win today in a 1904 final throw. That's a qualifier, which he had already. He's the national champion. That only means one thing, Mossy. He's going to Glasgow. How does that feel, mate? Oh, it feels pretty freaking great, thank you. <laughs> I just happy to come out here today in great weather and, you know, do what I have to do and try and hopefully 
Yeah, it was good to see. They yeah, both missed their first attempt at 192 there, so we'll keep you posted now. This is Patterson coming in now. Not to be. So she'll have one more attempt at that height, 192. Uh, an update with Brooke Stratton. She hasn't jumped bigger than her uh, 668 so far, so we're into the fifth round now. She should be coming up pretty soon, so we'll keep you posted there. Approaches the bar, and she's got her! Gives the bar a little tickle, the white flag goes up, and Nolly Worm is excited. You beauty, she's clear! That looks like a foul from Stratton there. Red flag goes up. So she'll have one more crack. All right, they're away and getting the best of the start there. It looks to be uh, Melissa Breen on the inside and Ella Nelson also going well. So Breen's up on the shoulder of Turner on the outside and enters the straight in front. So it's Breen and having a great run on the outside there is Ashley Whitaker. Oh, that's a big turn up. So Whitaker leads uh, Nelson by a couple of metres, but we know how strong Nelson is at the end and it comes through and confirms her good form this season. A uh, big run over that final 50 metres there for Ella Nelson. Taking down Ashley Whitaker and with a time of 23.49 unofficial uh, with a 0 0.5 tail win, uh, Ella Nelson will be off to Glasgow. Uh, look to be Annalise Ruby sneaking in for the bronze medal there, I think. We'll see if we can follow that. But here's Eleanor Patterson. She comes in for a second attempt at 195. And she misses that one. So let's see if we can pick up Hamish Peacock in the javelin. In comes Hamish Peacock. That's him on your screen there. He lets one rip. It's his fourth round throw. Some good carry. And that draws a good applause from the crowd. White flag is up. And 77.92. Keeps him in third place, Ollie. That's correct. And here we have an A standard in the women's long jump. Oh my God. Ollie Worm. This is off. This is amazing. Brooke Stratton, 6.70. So she's had a great series there. A 6.68. She's gone. I'm going to get a. Another PB for the evening, 670. It's all happening here at Lakeside Stadium. Plenty more to come. Stay seated. Okay, they're away now. Getting the best of the start there is Joseph Miller. The Kiwi goes up on Kevin Moore on the inside. Manga Chuat on the outside. Looking good. The big Western Australian into the straight. But it's going to, Miller's going to lead him by about a half a metre. But we know he's strong over the end. Manga Chuat, and here he comes. The Western Australian looking sensational. Miller fading a little bit. Moore coming home for, for third. But Manga Chuat crosses the line uh, to take out his first national title. 21-09, the unofficial winning time and didn't he look sensational all right and there's official result on the screen for the men's 200 confirming that win to uh, makua chawat and let's go down to robbo on the tartan couch thank you very much pat bergen i'm joined by the winner of the men's pole vault joel pocklington he's done his 12th b qualifier i think today and he's taken the win and he's the defending national champion and mate congratulations thank you so much <laughs> tell us a little bit about about the competition it had a bit of a strange twist at the end oh i'll tell you what it was a it was a stressful competition yeah having it having a jump off in a national championship jay i'll tell you what that's that's that pushed the pressure on how does that work the jump off well matt and i were tied for first at the completion of the event matt boyd yeah 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 and um so we just get we get an extra attempt a fourth attempt at, at that height so it was 525 he missed it, I cleared it, so I ended up winning. Well, Joel Pockington, well done once again. Defending national champion. Looks like he's off to Glasgow, and big congratulations, mate. Great, thank you so much. 80-51 in the men's javelin by uh, Peacock. Massive throw there. As we've got the fastest times in the field, uh, both of them very, very fast. Uh, Risley's run a 3.32. Uh, Greg's...
All right, so they're away. Three and a half laps of the track. And, and Wright. Oh, Wright's coming up. Jeez, the young guy is coming up and he, he's gone right to the front. So Wright taking the lead with 200 metres to go and Risley is not losing any ground. And I reckon Risley's still poised to take down Wright. Gregson trying to hang on in third. So it's the big three out in front as expected. Wright will lead him into the straight and here comes Risley. Jeff Risley, the big man, looking great. Pulls away, moving a sensation away from Wright and Gregson there, a spent force. But Risley, 3.46.48, he's on his way to Glasgow. National champion, he's got to be qualifier. So he cements his spot in the team. So guys, we're back down here on the... Yes, yeah, so Mossy. taking his fourth national title there, Jeff Risley. Um, and then a massive throw on the javelin out over 81 metres. That's going to be a new personal best, I'd say, for Josh Robinson. Remember, his best mark was 80.73 from 2007. That was massive, Paddy Bergen. 82.48. Oh. Goodness me, say hello to the A. That's an A qualifier, and speaking of A qualifiers, folks, we're about to have a chat with a young lady who has snared one in the sand pit earlier today, Brooke Stratton. Just putting on her matching Clyde coloured top, Clyde hair, and Brooke Stratton, you finally did it. I did it, I'm so happy. Can't believe it. Well done. About time, we've been saying here on the Tartan Couch, but you, you kept it up your sleeve and you brought it out for nationals, and how did it feel? Yeah, I felt really good. I felt, um, yeah, I felt great out there today. So, um, yeah, to finally jump the A qualifier and also get two other girls, hopefully to Glasgow as well, is um, pretty exciting. Six championships and Commonwealth Games trials. So, running through the field there, Wood in two, today I win three. Jenneke, as we said, a winner at the Brisbane or the Queensland Track Classic. All right, they're away, getting a cracking start there is Pearson. Jenneke trying to go with it. McCann not out that well, but it's all Pearson in front. She's got four to get over and looking fabulous. Jenneke having a bit of trouble there. McCann coming on my shoulder, but Pearson takes the win there. 12.73. And the unofficial winning time, 0.1, the wind on that. She seems pretty happy, and so is McCann. McCann. Looks like she got up there for second. As we see the results of that 100-metre hurdles. Pearson, McCann and Jenneke. Well done. Must have felt good. Absolutely. Days like today make all the training, all the perseverance in the rain, the cold, all worthwhile. It's just wonderful out there. And great to see uh, the other boys in the competition really pushing you. Hamish got one out over 80 metres and then you thought, right, it's my turn. I'm going to smash my PB and throw out a massive A qualifier. Yeah, that's right. Um, look, it's been seven years since I had a PB. Eight weeks ago I dislocated my shoulder. This is, you know, everything I could ask for and so much more. And the significance of today was um, this being the first day qualifying means we can get three boys along to the comp. So, right Mate, huge effort once again. Uh, we love following the com competition and we look forward to seeing you throwing your way to Glasgow. Sounds great, guys. Can't wait to get there. You'll fit in over there. There's lots of redheads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed our coverage of the 92nd Australian Athletics Championships here from Lakeside Stadium. And we look forward to seeing you again. You can stay in touch with us using the hashtag Tartan Couch. And remember, this has been the greatest live stream ever of the Australian National Championships. And remember, folks, run, jump and... Chuck. Chuck.